What's up guys, my name is Elder Enderman, and it's time for another video. So today, we're going to be looking at 10 redstone circuits that you may use. Now I know that a lot of you are probably like, that have watched my videos probably like redstone because I liked redstone too, and I have put some, you know, both of my videos, I think both of my videos, no, the original, not the original one, but, um, I do a lot of redstone, so, um, I, I would figure people that like redstone will watch my videos. So, I'm going to take you guys through some, uh, some circuits that I definitely use a lot, or have used, and that I think you guys should probably know about. So, starting off, we're going to talk about these three logic gates right here. So, this one right here is the first one, it's called the AND gate. And the way that I'm going to explain these is, um, this is input 1, this is input 2, and this is obviously output. So, with the AND gate... Input, if input 1 is on, and input 2 is on, then output will be on. Basically, that just means it, if you flick both the levers down, it will be on. That's not on right now because they're both up, but if you flick just one, output's still off. Like I said, it works the same way with the other one. On. Not on. See? You get, you get the point. So, this one right here is a... What's or gate? This is an or gate. So if input one is on, output up here. So you can just take this and drag it anywhere you want to. Resting signal will be on. If input two is on, output is on. If input one and input two are both on, output will also be on. However, if input if both of the inputs are off, then output will be off. Same thing goes for this. Output will be off if both inputs are off. <clears throat> so, this is a bit interesting. It's basically the opposite of the OR gate. So, the way this works is if input 1 is on, output is off. If, if input 2 is on, output is off. If both input and outputs are, or if both of the inputs are on, the output. The output is going to be off. If neither of the inputs are on, then the output will be off. And this right here is called an OR gate. I don't know, this is that that over there is an OR gate. This, I believe, is called a NOT gate. Because you, you get the point, it's not, it, it's not on, so it will be on. Whatever. <laughs> this in, the inputs are not on, so the output will be on. Not. So, this over here is or our number four is going to be um a t flip flop and t flip flops are used if you want to take like a pulse from a button and you want to keep it on so that like if you see like obviously you know you probably you guys probably already know this you take a button you press it the output's not going to stay on for long All right so if you want to keep the input or the output on then you make this little t flip flop and the way that you make it is you take i'll just break all this stuff real quick Take a dropper, not a dispenser, a dropper. Face it upward. This block right here is going to be the input block that you're going to put whatever input on. So I'm going to go ahead and put a button on this. And then you're going to want to take another dropper and face it toward whatever, wherever your output's going to be. So my comparator right here is my output. Face it toward wherever your output's going to be. And then have another dropper down here facing the opposite direction of this one. So, like this. And that's going to be our output block. Your output block. So, then you have to have a hopper funneling into that output block. Just like this. And then put any item. Doesn't matter what item. Just put an item. I, I would just be safe. Use non. Or I would use stackable items. So, I'm just going to put a piece of redstone dust in here. See, when I press this, the output is on. And it will actually stay on. And when I press it again, the output will be off. There you go. So, that's how you make it. Um, it's not really that confusing to make. However, this one can be. So, this one right here is going to be a hopper timer. And the way that it would work is that you're going to get an output every time. See, I put 20 items, or 10 items. No, it's 20. I put 20 items into, the, into this little hopper thing right here. It's just two hoppers facing each other. Alright. Floating. Two hoppers facing each other is all you got, all you got to know so far. And there are two blocks in the air. Alright. And then you want to do two blocks right here. 
in front of them with redstone torches on top. Comparators going into those blocks and put another set of blocks right here. One, two. Comparators going into two blocks. A hopper timer, the exact same thing as that one under here, un under that block and redstone torches right here. And then these two are your outlets. So um, the way that this works is the number of however many ticks, hopper ticks that you want to go by, you put that many items into this this timer over here. And then you always just put one single item into this one. So you'll see that every time one cycle of the items go from this hopper all the way to this hopper, all of them do, you'll get one pulse. They will go from this one to this one, you get one pulse. That is how I, that's what I use um, as a hopper timer for pretty much anything that I build. If I'm using a hopper timer, that's probably what I'm going to use. So, the next thing, oh yeah, th this is useful as well. Just this little thing right here is useful as well with some comparators. This over here is a, is a clock. It's a redstone clock. It's very fast. So what you want to do to build this is pretty obvious. I mean, like, how more obvious could it get? You take two redstone and... A repeater facing this way and a repeater facing this way, both on one tick delay, and then two more redstone. <laughs> it's it's really not that hard. Then you take a block and put it one of the pieces of redstone, just like this. You guys can see it. Place a lever on the block, and to get this thing started, you need to flick the lever on and then off very quickly. So, okay, see, there we go. It's kind of raining, so it's a little bit laggy. Of course, I get to record a video and it wants to rain causing lag, but you see how quick this thing actually, it is really, really quick. And if you want to stop it, break the redstone, put it back. Okay, over here, this is actually kind of interesting. I don't know that you guys would use this too much, but it is kind of interesting in a redstone world, so I'm going to show you guys. The way this works is we have, okay, well, I guess the items despawned, so, oh, no, they didn't. I'm an idiot. They just have, uh, I have two items in here. Now, you'll notice that one's a sword and one's a grass block. Grass blocks are stackable, swords are not. You need one non-stackable item and one stackable item in the dropper. The dropper needs to be facing a hopper and the hopper needs to be facing it or the dropper. So that when the, you press this button, it actually fires a um, an item into this hopper and it just goes right back in. But the cool thing about it is that we'll actually take a comparator signal out of this um, hopper and um, stackable items will produce a signal strength of one while non-stackable items, like a sword, will produce a signal strength of three. So, you can see that when I press the button, if the stackable item goes into this hopper, that redstone lamp will glow. Oh, I'll fix that later. If the stackable item, the grass block, see, goes into here, I will only get a signal strength of one output, so it might go off. So, it's basically just a game of luck, it's random, so. See, like there, I didn't get it. There, I did get it. See, it's it's a pretty big chance. Um, okay, so over here we have some a sort of item sorter thing. Um, this I'm just gonna show you guys this because I think it's a really interesting little trick that you can use if you're ever making item sorter thing, or if you ever need uh, items to go into a specific hopper. So you'll see that in this one um, we have grass blocks. The, the inventory of this hopper, I guess the GUI or whatever you can call it, the inventory of this hopper is completely filled up with grass blocks. Which means that the only thing going in here is grass blocks. Like else in here, nothing, nothing goes in here except for grass blocks. So, oh, and this one over here is just empty. Just anything. Wow, it's really laggy because uh, the gra or the rain. But um, actually, you know what, guys? I'm gonna go ahead and sleep real quick just to see if the rain will actually go away. And it's kind of dark, so, bro. All right, he's gone. <clears throat> so, yeah, uh, we have the uh, grass blocks in this one, and it, this one's empty. So if I take, if I go over here and I place a, I just put a repeater in this hopper right here, it is going to end up in this one every time because it cannot go into this hopper because the only thing going into this hopper is grass block. However, if you put a grass block into this hopper, it will always end up right there. You can see this one over here still empty. Now, um, if you guys want to see more of this and how it actually can be used in a um, in a system, um, uh, I have I, I've built the um, the I have an I have an item sorter in my redstone builds world. So um, 
if you guys want to see how to build that item sorter, go ahead and leave your comment down below if you want to see how exactly to build that and how to actually get this sort of system um, put into a build that will actually, you know, do something. Because right now I just have grass blocks. So, um, I, I, th I still think it's an interesting system and I do use it. But on to the next one. So this right here is a pulse extender. And to build it, you want two pieces of redstone. It's, it's like that clock over there with two pieces of redstone on either side. But um, instead of repeaters, you want a whole bunch of comparators. So take these comparators and just put them in a line. Another piece of redstone, or I got another two pieces of redstone. And then comparators in a line next to those. And what this will actually do is make a pulse that is really long. Like it takes a long time to fade away. And I think it's really cool. So, to, to prove this will actually fade away a very, a take a very long time, um, I have put another little thing over here with redstone going to this lamp right here. And this lamp will turn off before this lamp does because of this little system I got going on over here. Check it out. See how long it stays on? See how long that, that stayed on forever. That's a really cool pulse extender, and you can use it, and you can extend it to however long you want. I have to kill this slime. It's annoying. Okay, on to the last, um, what, I forgot the word for it. I, the last, um, what, yeah, I'm stumbling on my words. That's great. Um, the last little, like, system of redstone that you might need to use, uh, a circuit, circuit, that's it. Um, the last little circuit is something that will carry redstone um, circuit or redstone power vertically, and it is a torch tower. Now, in order to build a torch tower, it's very easy to do this. Take a block. I'm gonna get a torch out. Hang on a second. Redstone torch. Redstone torch is what you're gonna need. So you obviously you're going to need some sort of input, right? So whatever input you want. Um, torch. Block on top of the torch. Torch on the side of the block right there, just like that. And repeat the process. See how that torch turns off and that one down here is on? That's what basically does it. So, off. I'm gonna block, torch, block, torch. Not there. Not there. That will mess things up. There. See how I did that? Perfect. Alright. Stop. <laughs> I keep breaking the last grass blocks. Um, so you see this actually does work. See, I have this little redstone over here and um, some blocks in here. Um, when I press this button, of course, I will get a block out. There we go. See? Block of iron. Um, so, yeah. Those are the... I guess th those are all of the redstone systems. The redstone circuits that I will be showing you guys today. Thank you guys so much for watching. Remember to subscribe if you like the video. And watch my other videos because they're pretty good. We're up to 8 subscribers. I've gotten two, uh, or I've gotten lots of different subscribers. Uh... And I'm pretty happy about that. It, I, I hope the channel can keep growing. You guys are awesome. Thanks for all the comments on the previous videos as well. Remember to, remember to like and subscribe, of course. And I will see you guys in the next video.